Hi friends, I hope life has been treating you kindly. It's been a while since I've shared anything on here and that's because I had filmed some vlogs and edited them and every time I got to the end of the editing process, I felt really disappointed because it just didn't feel authentic to me. It felt like I had started to create out of pressure to stay consistent rather than sharing from my heart and my soul. And at the end of the day, I never want to share anything that doesn't feel authentic because that's one of my core values. So instead, I decided to tune inward and focus on what's going on in my life and that's where the inspiration for this video came from. I've been in the process of preparing to go to the jungle and partake in plant medicine ceremonies and a big part of that is the diet preparation for the last few weeks. So the main guidelines that I'm following are no sugar, salts, oils, and many spices honestly, so basically just as many whole and simple foods as I can eat. There's so much more to a dieta than just food, but when I was looking for content on what I could eat, I didn't really find anything that I liked, and I remembered all the times my friends asked me, well, what can you eat then? So I figured I would create the content that I was looking for, and maybe it would help someone somewhere looking for this too. So for breakfast, I've been loving a boiled and mashed sweet potato mixed with a bit of cinnamon, hemp hearts, coconut flakes, and pumpkin seeds, and just adding a chopped apple on top. And the first time that I tried this, I was honestly blown away at how delicious it is. It's literally like pumpkin pie with apples. And even if you're not following a dieta, maybe you're just bored of oatmeal, I highly recommend giving this a try. This is so simple and so delicious, like I said, and it takes minimal time if you boil the sweet potatoes ahead of time and then you just grab them out of the fridge and warm them up after. This is it all mixed together and oh, my mouth is watering just thinking about how delicious it is. <laughs> Then for lunch, I had prepped this quinoa salad a few days before, so this was the last of it. It has quinoa, black beans, tomato, mango, and cilantro, and since there's no salt or spices in there, I just added a big squeeze of lemon to give it some flavor, and I also added a bit of romaine lettuce on top to give it a bit of a crunch. Again, very bland, simple whole foods here and as you probably know i like to bless my food by sharing gratitude for mama earth for every person and bit of energy that contributed to the meals in front of me and of course for my body being nourished and after that i was still a bit hungry so i had some brown rice cakes with a boiled egg and cilantro on top and these are the eggs that i got they are as clean as possible i don't have access to a farm so we just do the best that we can around here for dinner i made myself this bowl with white rice black beans two boiled eggs plantain and some cilantro and of course a fat squeeze of lime for some flavor and really the star of this dish for me and honestly this dieta has been the plantains. What I like to do is boil a plantain and then peel them, mash it up a bit with a fork, and put them in the air fryer for 15 minutes, turning them once to get them all crispy. Usually I boil a few of them at once and that way I have some handy at all times so I can just throw them in the air fryer the next day and, you know, snack on them. This is very simple meal prep it doesn't take much time or effort or energy so i hope that this inspires you even if you're not doing a dieta to have some healthy snacks on hand and after dinner i had my last group call with everyone i'm going into the jungle with and i got a bit peckish afterwards so i made myself this late night oatmeal it's literally just oats and water with a dash of cinnamon and i added a banana tiny bit of almond butter hemp hearts, coconut flakes, and pumpkin seeds. Mind you, this is a bit further out from ceremony, so I could still have nuts and seeds up until four days before because of the natural oils that they contain. We try to stay away from them closer to ceremony. And that was pretty much it, friends. Very simple meals, like I said. I hope it helps someone somewhere. 
whenever you need it, even if you're just looking for inspiration for healthier eating or looking to cleanse, as always, thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. And I just wanted to leave you with one more note, and that is that plant medicine work is deeply sacred and should always be honored with the respect and reverence it deserves. So make sure to always do your research and due diligence when considering plant medicine work. And that is all, my friends. Take good care of yourselves, take good care of each other, and Mama Earth. <laughs>